The virus actually lives in the spinal ganglia back near the spinal cord and can sit there dormant for days, weeks, years, even decades once a person's infected. Different causes stimulate the virus to travel out on the nerve along the dermatome it serves, which is an area of the body innervated by that one nerve branch that goes around the body to the midline in the front. And as this virus is progressing out in the nerve towards the area where it entered the body, that area starts to burn, itch, or have pain. And then once the virus reaches the surface, you get a reddened erythematous area that has blisters that have a clearish secretion that crust over. And this is the time the person is most infectious because the active virus is in the secretions. But a person can transmit the um, herpes virus even when they don't have active lesions through sexual activity by having contact of that area of the skin with another person's skin areas that may be not intact and would allow the virus to enter their body.